Third, we have non-response bias. This is when maybe you do get the best, beautiful, gorgeous random sample, but maybe only 30% of people that you send your survey to actually respond back to it. So the problem is people do not respond and hence non-response bias. Now you may say, well, why does this matter? Well, if there is a big difference between those that do respond and those that don't respond, and we allow those people to not respond, we're never gonna see that difference. And for the third time, we want differences in our sample, that way it represents the population. And if we allow people with different opinions to not respond, we never get their opinions, well then we're never gonna get that nice sample. Finally, we have response bias. This is when, again, you might have a really nice sample, but the responses you get are untruthful. Not necessarily a lie, just untruthful for whatever reason. Now, this could be for lots of reasons. Maybe you have social desirability. You ask people a question in front of a bunch of other people, so they don't give you the full truth because they don't want to look bad in certain situations. Or maybe it's the interviewer, the person asking the question. When I go to the dentist and the dentist says, do you floss your teeth every day? Of course I say yes but I really don't. It's because of who's asking the question I didn't give the truth. Or maybe it's the wording of the question. The question might say, hey, responsible students do their homework every night. Do you do your homework every night? Well, you don't want to look like an unresponsible student, so you say yes. Or maybe even it's like a broken scale. Maybe you're weighing baby raccoons for some type of biology research, but the scale you're weighing them on is broken, so every one of the responses you get is gonna, well, be a lie. So we wanna make sure that we avoid these things at all costs, that way reduce the variation to what it is we're measuring, and we have a nice, accurate sample statistic that gives us a nice, accurate representation of our population. All right, that's it for bias. Make sure you avoid it.